Good morning. This is Angela with today's cup of tea. So I'm circling back today to something really basic, but so important and and vital in what's going on around us. We have so much information that we're getting deluged with. And what's really funny is, like a year ago, one of my guides came to me and told me to remember to be the calm in the storm. Remember to be the peace in the storm. And to also remind those who I, who I know who do the same work that I do and work with others on their spiritual journeys to be the peace in the storm. And when I would say that, my friends would say, so what does that mean? Is there like a storm coming? What do you mean? And, and I said, well, I just know that there's going to be a lot of chaos, a lot of change, a lot of all that stuff. But look at where we are today. We're in the storm. Look at all of what's going on in this world, all the changes on all the things that are falling apart in institutions, governments, um, you know, religions and and political and socio socionomical changes and science as well as spiritual. There's all this stuff. And on top of it now, so many are out there publishing, you know, channelings, what you call channelings of like Archangel Michael and St. Germain and Sananda and, you know, Joshua and, all, and uh, Kuan Yin and Mary and a zillion of uh, what you would call beings of expanded consciousness at the expanded consciousness level. And who do you listen to? Because not all the messages are the same. And then you have others who say, well, I've seen this and I understand this and I was told by this being and whatever. And inevitably, I always get these emails or I have my clients ask me, people I know ask me, well, what do you see? You know, what is, what have you seen and do you agree with this and whatever? So I don't talk about, I don't talk about what I've seen because it's real, it's, it's important for me to just discern it as my truth. And yes, it is very consistent with many of the things that are out there. However, it doesn't mean that it's all, you know, who's somebody's right and somebody's wrong. <clears throat> That's the point. That's the being the peace in the storm and coming back to the center of discernment and and learning how to discern by what's the first thing I tell everybody is tapping into your higher self, clearing out the chatter and listening to the clear voice of your I am consciousness and or of creator and any you know guides of the light of, of what you would call guides of the light that you that are only sharing the highest divine truth and if you don't even want to go there the real key is to simply just tie into your higher self to be able to say is this truth for me is this my highest truth is this the truth for my highest and best and most positive good because it doesn't matter if it was for like if it is truth for a hundred or a thousand or a million or a billion people if it is not truth for you then it is not your truth it doesn't matter it's not right or wrong it's just different so that's right why this importance of discernment not only then of discerning of a list of, of discerning of everything around you but also discerning within you of the voice of the ego versus the voice of the higher self because the voice of the ego is the one that comes to you all the time with the, the fears and anxieties and the worry and the negativity and the anger resentment and regret and rejection and all, you know all that kind of stuff that's based from the ego the higher self is always that calm voice and people would say people say to me well I just don't have time to meditate I just can't find time on my schedule. And I always say to them, well, you know, but you have time to read these 50 different posts on Facebook about, you know, what other people have seen. So why can't you just take 10 or, 10 or 15 minutes a day to just listen to your higher self? And it doesn't have to, you know, it can be in a variety of ways. But anyway, I'm going to go back to the channeling thing for a minute because it's a really important point I'm understanding to make. Um, because channeling has this, uh, I don't know, enigma, enigma around it. And because of, you know, traditional days and, 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 and before everything has changed the way it's changed recently, whatever. So when somebody says they're channeling in Archangel Michael or they're channeling in whoever, people will say, oh, look at this, this person channeled it in. Well, how could then, if you looked at it this way, 10, 15, 100 people channel in Archangel Michael and have a slightly different mes message? Well, it all goes back to a conversation that I was having with 
my a friend of mine who does this work as well and she focuses in the angelic realm and she's done it she just started doing it um like in this past year so we go back and forth and she would send me a link to something and i would say and say well what do you think of this what do you think of this and i would say well i, I really don't listen to a lot of these anymore because i just basically listen for it myself and then we got into a whole conversation about channeling well what channeling is is when you connect in with any part of the higher consciousness and you bring back that information and you filter it into the consciousness here and that's a really important filter no matter who does it there is always a filter I have a great experience when I started doing this stuff and connecting with my guides and other beings or whatever I started with auto typing or auto writing and then I would I just went to auto typing because typing is so I don't even think about it so it worked really well for me and so the first time I did it I was like okay I'm just I felt the information coming I understood it coming in and I just was like I'm stepping aside I'm just gonna let it flow through and let my fingers do the typing and, and watch and see what happens so type 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 and I understood that there was stuff coming through and then when I looked at the screen it was like gibberish all except like the last sentence which said you must filter for this to be comprehensible at the earth level and I was like oh well that would make sense because it's sort of like universal communication is universal communication and we understand things in our filter when we get information in or we open up to information guess how how we understand it it's through the filters we have in our mind and that is language number one number two is experience so my truth and the way it comes into me even if it's the exact same message is going to come in slightly different at least slightly differently to you because we have different experience different filters different versions of our language different knowledge and command of our language so look at how that just in one person and you're just coming in how that can change a message slightly and again and that goes back to if you see 50 different channeling from Archangel Michael or whoever how each of them can have slightly different messages or a twist different twist on the same message because it's being filtered through different experience through different perspective so if you then are are pulling it in and then you are filtering it yourself or then you ask somebody else well what do you think of this and how do you you know how do you hear it well now that you're filtering it through multiple filters and you're playing the game telephone so <clears throat> that is again then it comes back to why it's so important I prefer to get the message into myself through my own filter so I understand the truth in the highest way I can from my perspective without any other anybody else's filters in the way that's why it's so important uh, to start tapping in just tapping in, even saying is it, when you're seeing something is this truth and hearing yes or no or hearing no and why so that is what I'm going to leave you with to think about today and the importance of discernment and how we're taking back our divinity and remembering that we have all the answers that we can access all the answers because we have the divine within we have done a great job of the ego allowing us to believe that others have more information that we do that um, we have to depend on others to give us the information because we're you know we're just incompetent and some at it and somebody else has it we are all fully competent. We are fully divine and we have all of the, we can tap into all of it ourselves. <clears throat> so today's clearing is simply to um, learn discernment and how to do that. I'm going to just start out with all of my disclaimers. My, what a client of mine called um, cosmic uh, legalese <laughs> in the beginning of this. So it will be all of the following without trauma, drama, and illness, without creating or recreating a situation for illustration or experience in all with ease and grace and balance and harmony and joy and fun, excitement, adventure, and um, humor and love. And to for this to apply to all versions of you, all times, all places, into the ever-expanding universe, to infinity and beyond, and to receive all information via instantaneous and comprehensive download with fully conscious understanding. And in, in with that, any truth and definition and understanding and perspectives related to this are of, of our own or your own will be replaced with creators for divine alignment. 
So with all that in mind, if you want all that, and then moving forward, would you like Creative Truth and Understanding on how to discern between what is your truth and the truth of others? How to discern the voice of your higher self versus the voice of the ego versus the voice of others? Also, to how to discern the voice of Creator and understand, you know, to understand that it is the voice of Creator coming through or the voice of your higher self or the voice of even guides and how to discern between them easily and effortlessly without question and to pull all beliefs of others have more information than I do about what is best for me. Uh, beliefs regarding I'm not allowed to communicate directly with Creator. I don't know how to communicate with my higher self. I don't know how to listen to the voice of my higher self and I don't know how to discern between my voice and my higher self voice and creator and creator's voice and the ego's voice. Pulling all those beliefs. I'm not allowed to of any of those. Any versions of that. Then we're going to pull any self-limiting thoughts, words, and actions that are at the cellular level from those beliefs. Transform those to creator's lights and back to creator. Close those absolutely and permanently and open uh, those receptors and open new ones. Saturate the cells with the highest vibration of creator's unconditional love and unconditional self-empowerment of the divine and download the beliefs of I have full access to all answers of the universe. I am the divine. I am creator. I know the difference between the voice of my ego, of my higher self, and of creator, and of other guides of the light. I know how to discern what is the highest divine truth of creator, creator of all that is. That's really important because my truth and your truth might be two different truths if we just say truth. If we say the highest divine truth of creator of all that is, that's where we start at the highest level that applies to all of us. So the belief of I know how to to discern via the highest divine truth the creator of all, is, of all that is. And all the feelings associated of knowing how to do that and, and all the feelings associated with all that, including also that you are worthy, deserving, and able to, that it's possible, that okay, and safe to, that you're ready, willing, and able to, and that you have that in your life right now. And to heal and heal, resolve, and clear the timelines in all directions to infinity re, re, in regards to all of the events that happen that cause those beliefs that we're pulling to begin with. Um, and we're going to do that with the Violet Platinum Flames. And offer this to all ancestors and descendants if they so wish. And if you want to take a deep breath, if you want all this, take a deep breath. <sighs> Clear your mind, be open to receive, and say, yes, discernment. And that's it. Gone way over again. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you next week. This is Angela with Today is a Cup of Sea.